Hey everyone, Kason here. Today, I'm gonna turn this fan off is what I'm gonna do today. Have you ever seen a color somewhere on the internet or just anywhere on your computer really and thought to yourself, that's a really nice color. I wanna use that in a project of my own. Well, today I'm gonna show you just how to do that on your Mac. And it's actually surprisingly easy with an app that's pre-installed on every Mac. I had no idea how to do this, but once I figured it out and how easy it was, I use it all the time for a ton of projects that I work on. So let's get right into it. Here we are on my Mac. By the way, if you love this wallpaper as much as I do, it's actually a photo by Caleb George on Unsplash, one of my favorite websites for wallpapers. I'll leave the link down below if you'd like to download it for yourself. But while we're here, I love the colors in this wallpaper. And let's say I wanna use one of these nice, beautiful blues for some text in a document I'm working on in Adobe Illustrator. I'm gonna write some text here real quick. This is some text. By the way, this font is one of my favorite. It's called Satura Fat, and it's by it's it's in the the Typekit fonts from Adobe. So you can search it up there if you like it as well. It's one of my favorites. I think it looks so awesome. All right, let's say we want this to be an awesome blue like one of these here. How would we go about finding out the the code for the colors in this image? Well, we're actually gonna want to open a app that's already on our Macs. So if you go into the launch pad, you can do that by doing a gesture on your, on your touch pad, or you can also just click the little rocket ship down here. You'll find it in other automatically. It's this digital color meter, but of course you can always just start typing like the word color and digital color meter will show up. So here it is, it's a simple little app. And you can see the cursor kind of follows me around on the screen as I go about looking at different colors and things. First thing we're going to want to do is go up here to view, display values. It's going to be automatically selected as decimal, but so that we can easily copy and paste those codes, I recommend we change it to hexadecimal. That will give you a hex code for each of these uh, colors. So let's pick a color that we like. I really like how these colors look over here. They're kind of like a tealish blue. And let's see, one that we just particularly like. I really like these lighter ones, like maybe like right here. So you can see on the digital color meter over here where our color is selected and we can see the, the display values on there. Now let's, let's make this window active. That's very important that the window is active. But how do we go about copying and pasting it? Since, I mean, if we're gonna go copy those numbers over there, we'd have to move our mouse. And in that case, we'll move the, the cursor. And so it won't any longer be on the color that we liked. We're actually gonna use a keyboard shortcut. And there's two of them. One of the keyboard shortcuts colors is copies the color as a text, and the other one copies the color as an image. I'll show you what each do. I don't really have much of a use for copying the color as an image, but if you could find some use out of it, it's kind of cool too. We're gonna show you the text first because that's what we're gonna use most often. So the keyboard shortcut for that is Shift-Command-C. All right, so let's go back down to that color that we liked. It was about right here. Here. I really like this one. I think it'd look cool with that font that I have. So we're going to do Shift, Command, and C. Now the hexadecimal code for that color is copied to my clipboard. So I'm going to open up Adobe Illustrator again. And we'll, we'll go over here to Appearance. First we're going to select the text. We'll click the Fill button. And it will be automatically on the swatches right here, but if you click on the color mixer, at least for Adobe Illustrator, you'll be able to enter in the hexadecimal. So I'm gonna select all of that and do Command V to paste. Now it will automatically put a hashtag little signature there. We don't need that since there's already gonna be one here in Adobe Illustrator. So you can just delete that and then press enter. And we'll deselect the text. And as you can see, we've made that color the the color of our text which is pretty awesome and you can paste that into anything now as a little bonus tip i'll show you what it looks like when you do select uh, the copy as an image let's find another cool color this one's this one's nice as well and the keyboard shortcut for copying the color as an image is option command c 
So let's open up something I can paste into, like, like text edit. That's a pretty simple application. I'll move it over here. And Command V to paste. As you can see, we've got a square that's just that color. You can't actually paste these images onto, say, somewhere in your finder, like your desktop. It won't work. It'll have to be in uh, some kind of a text document. But you can use it to do some simple design work, like, I don't know, like pixel art or something like that. Let's pick a different color and we can add to this. So let's pick the sand. That's Option Command C. As you can see, you can kind of use it to work on like a grid of, of icons. It's just really cool. I don't have much of a use for it, but if you have a use for it, there you go. That's how you go about doing it. And that's it. That's how you copy a color from anywhere on the internet or anywhere on your computer or in any of your photos or anything like that to use in your own designs. It's super simple and easy and fast. And like I said, comes right with your computer. Thank you so much for watching and remember to be creative.